Imagine loving to dance, but not being able to hear the music. I'm Juliette Lamar, your community reporter in Santa Barbara, where a local five-year-old deaf dancer is hearing for the first time, thanks to some cutting edge technology. Um, I only know ballet and hip hop. Meet Eviana Sandoval, a bubbly five-year-old from Carpinteria who loves to dance. Because all you have to do is move your body. This little girl with a passion for dance and music was born without the ability to hear a thing. Right away, as they put her on my chest, I could see her ears weren't fully developed. She had teeny tiny, we call them little peanut shells because she just had little tiny ears. Stephanie Sandoval and tells me her daughter Eviana was born with profound hearing loss caused by microtia atresia in both ears, which occurs in around one in 5,000 births in the U.S. The challenge was how do we make sure you have typical development just like your sister. At two months old, Eviana got a bone conduction cochlear implant called a Baja. It attached to her head by a headband, which allowed her to hear a few things. I could hear only talking. Uh-huh. But how about now? Everything. After another round of surgeries this summer, Eviana has a new implant. It's called Asias. This high-tech hearing system came out five years ago, but wasn't available to children under 12 till this year, when the FDA lowered the age for implantation to include children over five. Last week, the implants were activated for Eviana, and now she can hear her music clearly in dance class, and so much more. We got in bed for the first time in five years and had a whisper conversation, and she said, I've never been able to hear whispers. Eviana's cochlear osseas will grow with her, and the outside technology will be upgraded every few years. Our most important job as a parent is to be their advocate. The sooner you can get them hearing, they don't miss a beat. Eviana's audiologist, Dr. Fintoner, encourages patients who think their child has hearing loss to get a referral to a doctor of audiology as soon as possible. In Santa Barbara, Juliet Lamar, KSBY News.